I'm ready. It's a long way to Bean Town. Hop in. Sean, I'm here. Ah, good. Your signal's already a little wobbly. Are you inside? Not yet, but there's a hundred feet of ice above me. All right, we may lose touch when you push through, so remember what we talked about. Watch your meters carefully, for radiation especially, and keep the staff close. Got it. Standing by. Zawaho and Nakwat, Unsme Borturwan di Quarde, Ul Solas Vras Hunakudi de Unzum Huraz, Vez de Rehaz, Zohumsi. I'm in. The elevator still works. Ah, 75,000 years. What's another millennium or two? It's getting hotter already. Yes, by our reckoning, it's gonna go up by about 16 degrees Celsius. How does it draw so much power? Tectonics is our best theory. The movements of the Earth's crust, the churning lava beneath. Huge source of energy. That's tech humans should have. Energy, not pieces of Eden. You're breaking up, Sean. Say that again, please. You're breaking up. Forget it. I'll call you when I'm topside. Why don't you try calling us when you're topside? Something like that. Here we go. <laughs> there you are. You're working overtime. Must have collapsed when the ice melted. Whoa, whoa. Steady. A pool of water from all that melted ice. Down. Don't look down.
Why would anyone want to end their life here, unless they felt it was just beginning? The Basin. After a thousand years, you're not looking so well. It's just like the Animus. It's just like the Animus. Was Valhalla, or, or a simulation of it. So what am I looking for? Will I know it when I see it? Something feels off. What is this? Are you doing this? Are you pushing this machine to its limit? Me. I am only a guest in their world, a world spun of wishes and hopes. Basim, you sent the message. You led us to Eivor's grave. Yes, a hopeful message, was it not? How? You've been trapped here for a millennium. Eivor put you here. Indeed, but I'm not alone in this place. Not always. I have a friend who helps me. Together, we read the calculations. After we located Eivor's probable resting place, I contacted you. Through the digital lattice that inwebs this earth like a spider's nest. In our day, all the world was connected like this. A superorganism of technology. The staff you carry the temples you have visited, all of it speaks as one. May I show you something? I imagine you can do anything you want in this place. Not as much as you might think. I am tethered to my body in a most uncomfortable way. But you can slow this machine down. You know how it works. Yes. We'll do it together. For another catastrophe is near at hand. This node of time has an ugly way of correcting itself. Go ahead. You're a hard man to trust. You must know that. You're not obliged to trust me. But this is all I can offer. God damn it.
Is that it? Is it done? Basim! Where are you? What is that? Stop. Wipe everything. Run it again. Layla. Hello. You know me? Yes. Through the calculations I read here in the Grey. Eight years ago, the odds of your arrival were 15,055,003,276 to 1. As the years passed by, those odds improved. And as of yesterday, near even. It's a pleasure to meet you at last. Who are you? And what is this? I am the reader of the calculations. All these... possible futures for you and the world outside. I have spent much of my new life reading these. Searching for a way to finish everything we started so long ago. It begins here. You slow down this machine and save the world, from which point all possible futures expand. Millions upon millions of possible roads. But in every one, another catastrophe recurs. The node collapses and the world is wiped out. The human race dwindles and fades. I must keep looking. I must find the solution for you. I must leave you with something. This node? This is right now where I slow down this machine? Yes. I start all my calculations from this point. The only thing I know for certain. That seems limiting. How do you mean? What if you went back further, to 2012 when Desmond saved the world? Desmond? What if he didn't save the world? What if he walked away and let the world burn? Look at those timelines. Read them instead. I see. An interesting idea. Fascinating. Billions upon billions of new timelines to explore. Exactly. These are timelines that never came to pass, but they could have. If Desmond had let the world be destroyed, maybe the humans that survived would have learned something from the disaster. And maybe in one of those timelines, they could have found a way to prevent it from happening ever again. That is brilliant. How did you come to that idea? If you spend too much time narrowing down what's possible, you may never give another thought to the improbable. Thank you for your insights, Layla. It's only the beginning. We have a lot of data to sift through. Are you staying? Until we find something useful, I will. I don't want this to happen ever again. You may not have much time, Layla. The machine is powered down, but the radiation... It will linger for decades. By my calculations, you have 73 seconds before your exposure is lethal. I'm not worried. I have the Staff of Eden. It heals and protects. No. You do not. What? How? Of course. Of course? Fuck! Alright. We'll find a solution together. However long it takes. And if that means I can never leave... ...so be it. I owe this to the people I... ...I hurt. And the people I love. Yes. I know the feeling. Let's get going, huh? A few billion timelines might take a while. It will. But it will not feel like it. That is what I like about this place.
I'm with you. Is the mad one here? No, my love. Only we remain. And Layla? <sighs> the heir of memories fulfilled her role perfectly. that but I'm not afraid and I'm not alone we have work to do work that may take us days or years it's impossible to say but we'll finish it what I mean is don't come looking for me it's too dangerous and and too late take care of yourself take care of the world we still have you see, she's fine. In a manner of speaking. A manner of speaking? Jesus! We have to find her! You heard her. She doesn't want to be rescued. Bullshit. In any case, there's nothing left to save. Not after this long. Because of you! You left her there! This... This is all a bit much. I know I'm in the same situation. No, nope, no. Nope. You're in a class all your own, man. We're assassins now, not hidden ones. From the Arabic, Hashishin. Ah. And do we have a mentor? Is that still the practice? We do. Name? William Miles. William Miles. I'd like to meet William Miles. Would you bring him to me? We can call him. Encrypted line. You can talk to him right now. No technology. Face to face. A meeting of minds. It's time to take the fight to these... these Templars, as you call them. I won't go anywhere, my friends. Your animus is in good hands. How much do you know? My dear, we invented such things long, long before you did. I'll figure it out. It's a nice place to die, Eivor. Not everyone gets to choose. You bested me. I don't know how, but you did. Yet, I'm the one left standing. And now, I can take from you anything I want. Your memories, your skills, your secrets. They're all mine. And when I have them, I will put them to good use to find my children and bring my family back together. A quiet place to find an end. I almost envy you. Hello, little fella.
tools or instruments of torture? Or both? love. A new world has opened to us. Once I get my bearings, there is nothing we cannot achieve. Steady, Eivor. Sigurd! Tovi. Welcome home. Missed a great feast, it seems. Eivor! Sit a moment... ...and rest. Sigurd. For me. Gods, you are back. Safe and standing tall. Did you... Did you find what you were looking for? We did. We did. But it was not for us. What is this? I... Um... Eivor's returned! Inside of the hearth, come! Your secret is no longer safe. Eivor? Rangvi? What is this? Is everything all right? Our Jarl has returned to lead us forward into an uncertain future. Will you speak to your people? For love and joy, words can jade. Our souls must sound in a heartful song. And when... No. You're less mine than I'm yours. And I ask of you only this. Keep me honest in the times to come.
hearken well in Hall of Kings. On ocean steed my words gain wings. Oh, winds me I forth will bring. For noble deeds thine honor sing. We beat and blaze our trail of red till old in To fight for those who fall, for those who fight and those who fall, may horns resound the mighty hall. For we who fight, for we who fall. Message has come. Sigurd, Eivor, before you say more, I must tell you something. Randvi and I have, uh, have ended our marriage. I am sorry to hear that. Ah, uh, do not be. We adore one another dearly. But our marriage was not built on love. We were brought together as an act of peace. I was pledged to her well before I knew her. And though we have tried to settle our differences and find love in our faults, it has not worked out. And so we have dissolved our bond. Yet, as a clan, we will grow together. Then I'm glad for you both. And for the rest of us. This place would not be the same without you two. I want to see the Alliance map. Hamptonshire, the last Saxon stronghold. And very heavily guarded. King Alfred is preparing for war. You will meet tremendous resistance. As will Alfred. Is Guthrum Jarl there with his army? He is. He and Oba have gathered a sizable force and intend on launching an attack on Alfred soon. If we support their assault, England will fall to us. A pagan land where a multitude of gods may freely roam. I will go to Hamptonshire and speak with Guthrum. Send word to our allies to gather in the Thames just outside the Shire. I will. May the gods share in this, our final victory. Norse and Saxon banners flying side by side. I should find Guthrum. Soma! Eivor! You come at Guthrum's call. It is good to see you. And you, Soma. There's an uneasy peace here. Both armies with their hackles up. Was blood spilled? No. We took Werum without resistance. These Saxons accompany their lord as we stand beside Guthrum. So this fort is not the sum of his ambitions. Guthrum's plan is to bring the Saxons to the table. If he can win the peace without a fight, he will do so. And how likely is that? Just now they sit on their thumbs in the church, talking in circles. Come. I will take you to him. Who is Guthrum meeting here? Is it Alfred? That's right. The King of the West Saxons has agreed to negotiate. Seems we have him on the back foot. Guthrum should be careful. Alfred speaks with Loki's tongue. Guthrum is not a babe at teat, Eivor. Nor is Alfred. If he has come, it is for his own advantage. Then give us counsel. Stand by Guthrum, show our strength. The King of Hayseeds will soon be humbled, trust me.
We took this town as if it were a straw hole. Do not challenge me, Elf King. Your show of swagger and strength has my attention, Guthrum. But we agreed on terms. What more do you want? The crown of Wessex. Wessex has a king. And that king has the backing of the Almighty. Yours is a fever dream, Dane. We need not ask for it, Goodwin. We will take it, as we have taken all the kingdoms of England. Ah, Eivor. Our blunted tool returns, Lord. I have given you all I care to. A Dane geld to leave Wareham. You swore an oath upon the cross and that pagan hammer. And when you scurry back to whatever shit-soaked hovel you crawled from, we will release your men. Speak again, handmaid, and I will feed your tongue to Eivor's raven. A fair trade. We already have your cock. Are we done with this pissing contest? If Guthrum has given you his word, then he will honor it. We will leave this town. You have one day. Do not test the King's patience further, or our men will return to Wareham with force. And if you doubt my conviction, know that the Avon River near Uffentune runs red with the blood of your countrymen. Their commander, what did his men cry as he fell? Ula? Uba? Yes. That was it. Remember, you have taken my silver. In return, I expect your honor. I will await news of your retreat in Chippenham. Uber dead? It cannot be! Gods, I will tear that Saxon skin from his bones if this is true! Alfred hisses with a snake tongue, but he gains nothing from this lie. When news of this spreads through the camp, no Saxon will survive the day. You swore upon the cross. Oh, I have no intention of cowing to that milk sack. Now more than ever, I will take his throne and his head! In Winchester, Alfred used me as a tool and cast me aside. So let the betrayer be betrayed. We'll burn this village to the ground. After that, we take care of Alfred. Burn Wareham to the ground! Make it a Saxon pyre! You old freakers! Let vengeance steer your swords! You old freakers! We had a truce! And now it is ended! And you will feel my axe in your fire and flame! Burn it all! And now it is ended! And you will feel my axe in your fucking lips! Leave nothing standing! For Uba! Every great Norse you sent to Valhalla, I'll send ten to your hell! Fire and flame! Burn it all! For Uba! Of Valhalla, I'll send ten to your hell. You won't burn Wareham, scum. Uh. Uh. Amen for those warriors they have what sent to Valhalla. Threat. Your godson oh, has oh, forsaken oh, you! Oh, Let oh, vengeance oh, steer your swords! Your godson has forsaken you, Saxon! You have no honor! Leave nothing standing! You have no honor, Dane! You will not steal our land! It's too late, little man! Our gods have... Let vengeance steer your swords! It's too late, little man! Our gods have... War this is our England now! Fire and flame! Burn it all! My blood needs fire! After... Leave nothing... Their prayers go unanswered this day. We should find Soma. Do not lose your 
some nerve! This place is routed, Soma. Good work. We leave now. There are forest ruins just east of here, along the road. Come on, men! Move! Close! Keep moving! We can rest here a moment. Now, tell me what you know of that Breaker of Rings. Weak and wretched troll. Alfred is a wily fox. He appears frail, but draws upon an inner strength. He will not be easy to oust. Fury will fuel my army and my claim. It will not be enough. You must find a weakness. Yes. That is why I called you here. Do you balk at the opportunity to bury the Saxon King? I must first hear a plan to balk at. Hmm. Alfred spoke of Chippenham. A squat hovel of sheep and peasants. So why does he go there, and not to Winchester? Your scouts must know, they're the best in England. A holiday feast, their Saxon Christ Mass. Alfred will warm his heels by the fire, while Uba lies cold in an English field. I have called upon my allies to join us in this fight, but I must know where to send them. Is Chippenham our final prize? It is. But uh, I will need my men for the coming fight as well. The hostages Alfred took. If there is a chance to save them? We will not lose more friends today. Where are they held? A place further ahead through this forest. They call it Hampton Blockade. Soma, ride north to the Thames and lead my allies south. They should be gathered by now. I will. Gather on the river passing Chippenham. The rest of you set up camp there. I called you Raven Feeder once. At Porchester, you were as hot-headed as Thor. You have become a true leader, Eivor. There's much to come, Guthrum, before we can rest with mead in our hands and songs in our ears. I will crush Alfred's skull with my bare hands if Uba is dead. We cannot dwell on this, even if it's true. If you want the throne, only strategy will deliver it. Or bloody wrath will steal it. I will follow this Alfred, hound his heels. Revenge burns within me. A wise man once told me, we do not dash ourselves against hopeless courses. We arrive unexpected, strike swift. You turn my words against me now, Wolfkist. I took them too hard in my darkest times, my friend. Go! There. This is the blockade. The hostages must be in these buildings. <laughs> What is your plan? I can tread quietly so as not to alert the guards. But I can raid this place in moments with my crew. I will follow your lead. I took them too hard. I took them too hard in my darkest times, my friend. My brother's story is a long one, and for another time. Ridding the land of a strong ruler will. Ridding the land of a strong ruler will make Wessex harder to tame. Come to understand the truck.
Are you Guthrum's men? Thank you. Friend. Aye. Free us and we will fight by your side. I've come to understand the trials of leadership, Guthrum. It is hard not to when you cradle something as fragile as life within your hands. Enough skulking! These Saxons do not deserve compassion. I will wash my blade in their blood. Favorite. Go to the camp near Chippenham. Find your countrymen there. Good. Huh? We'll pay back the Saxons for the insults they heaped on us. Guthrum, some of your men. We will not be feasting in Odin's heart. As long as I can cut some Saxons down, I don't care where we face them. I need no thanks, Guthrum. Let us speak more when we are safely away. We're safe here. Let us speak, Guthrum. You should join your people at the camp. Even a surprise takes preparation. Your bravery? Your leadership, Eivor. You wear it well. You have grown much since last we spoke. You judged me fairly, Guthrum. Harsh, though your words were. But I do not make the same mistake twice. How is your brother, Sigurd? He lives. A changed man. But he is free of full case torment. That at least was a deed well done. 
Will this all be worth it in the end? Everything we have done? Everything we have sacrificed to win this land? Sometimes I dream of soothe black furrowed earth. And blood seeping from seedlings, poisoning our future. We must believe our way of life will survive. Our fates are woven, but our deeds forge our destiny. Ah, and so to our final battle. We will wait for you at the camp. And at the Avon River, west of Uffentune, I fear the worst, but I must know. Do you be Eivor, you made it unscathed. They came from all over England. I never thought it possible, Eivor, that you would rally Saxons and Norse under your black-feathered banner. They see the tyranny of this elf king. He would crush them all under heel and plug their hearts with his god. So what is the plan, Eivor? When is their feast day? A few nights from now, but their revelry has already begun. We should attack now. That is unwise. Soldiers pace the paths of the village. Then the night of the feast, under cover of darkness. That is when we will strike. Uba will not have died in vain. We await your instructions, Eivor. I will greet my allies first. Good. Come find us again when you are ready. All is ready, and your allies have arrived. Speak to them if you like. Gidrich. After Rochester, I was not sure you would come again. I've chosen my side. Who would sooner bet a hog than allow Alfred to pillage the land of love? Guthrum will trample Alfred's ambitions like weeds in the dirt. Mercia might rise further yet. <laughs> Perhaps I shall one day sit upon the throne of all England. King Giedrich the drunken ass. <laughs> I'll raise a cup to that. A few survivors. You made it unscathed. Let us speak of our plan. Let us plan our approach. But whatever happens, Alfred is mine. They are not expecting us. We should not meet much resistance on the way. Then quietly through the fields. It will already be too late once they see us. Your young Saxons can be our eyes to the west. Better to keep their soft hands away from the conflict. My scouts reported that a few nobles have arrived for the festivities already. Good. If we capture the Thanes, there will be no danger when I confront Alfred. And we could persuade them to support a new king of Wessex. I will subdue the lords. Take Deolaf and Tefta with you. They could prove useful in convincing the Thanes. Rhoda, take Edkin Stowe and capture the garrison. Make quick work of any Saxons that dare cross into the village. <laughs> Gladly, Eivor. We each know our parts. May they blunt their swords against our might. Tonight, Wessex's last resistance will crumble. I follow you, Eivor. And I. Be ravening wolves and croaking ravens. Stand firm, your axe arms strong, and together, we will win this final battle. And remember, Alfred is mine. Soma, with me. Everyone else, go quickly to the village. Advance! Be on the lookout for any stray guards. Lufina, Kjor, keep a strong flank. Huh?
Get to the village and wait for my signal. Need to cloak myself. Let's smoke the rat out of his guard's house! Alfred! Face me, and I will spare the last of Wessex my torch! Did you think my king would turn his back on you, Abel, when your knife is smeared with the blood of Wera? Stand aside, Goodwin. I come for Alfred. Alfred is long gone, and this good Christian feast, a cup of honey wine, to trap some wasps. Where is he? Calling his allies to his side. All those who wish to see Wessex under one god. You cannot win England with your sorry crew of deluded farmers and godless fools. At least I wouldn't leave them to die as I scurried through the corn husks like a rat. You have no understanding of duty, the loyalty I freely give. His plan for England, for the world, is worth the cost of my life. Then sing your tuneless hymns. Come, Raven Feeder. Do your worst. <laughs> For all your boasts, warrior, I scratch at you like a cat. You yap like a dog! means so little. You are beaten, Goodwin. Beaten? No, not so. By my death, my lord may live. Alfred used you, fool. He threw you in my path. For what? He only delays what is inevitable. Kill me, then. It makes no odds. For here you stand, 
bloody and breathless. No closer to my king. No closer to his throne. This island will never be your home, Eivor. You will not subdue her with vicious force or win her with cocksure words. We Saxons will always stand firm, shoulder by shoulder against thieves and tyrants whose envious eyes fall upon England. If I must strike down all of England to subdue her, let it begin with you. Oh Lord, into your hands I commit my spirit. Guthrum, I need you fighting with the rest. These men will not surrender. And one little cock flogger barricaded himself behind that door there. I will find a way in. I'll find them. Hey. Unwald! Come, get up! This is no time for weep wailing. I... I cannot. And there is a blackness closing in around my eyes. It frightens me. Forgive me, Unwald. I should have been quicker. No. <coughs> Hunwald, listen to me. You survived the Battle of Bottlestone. Do not let this scratch best you now. I'm so cold. Has winter come so soon? You will warm yourself with mead and dancing yet, my friend. Perhaps not, Eivor. Maybe I will sit beside my father soon. 
Will he be proud of me? He will pull you to his breast. Sob bright words of welcome and... Until you no man ever had a worthier son. I am glad to have known you, Eivor. My truest. There's nothing more you could have done. I should check. Do not waste your efforts here. Go help the others. God loves me. I should check on Guthrum at the feast hall. will not fall to you, scum! in the garrison. Good work, Guthrum. I hope the rest have fared as well. from the inside. Hurry! These waves of reinforcements are hell sent!
down. That is most of them. Make sure the garrison stays under our control. I need to help the others. They are routed! The city is ours! Wessex will follow! Good from y'all. We are not without losses. Some of them grave. Their king is fled! His patsy struck down! Defeat rings loud in their ears, and I will be their lord before the spring is here! Good from hear me! Soma is... She's gone. Soma? Dead? She has gone to the endless feast, and she is the better for it. Many fought for us and died. They deserve peace. Are you ready to honor them? Yes, there's nothing more to say. Time to send our friends to their great reward. Will you do the honors? Nothing awaits them. They lived, they died. And now their bodies will burn to cinders. Their saga ends here. Well, do not share that with them. Victory is ours, but it came at a great cost. Soma Yalskona, who stood at Guthrum's right hand, 
She will live on in our memories, from now to the end of days. And to your warrior, husband, and a friend, he made the ultimate sacrifice. I here repay it. And to Hunwald, whose kind heart has now led him to his father's side. May his God welcome him with open arms. Let us send them on their way. All our beloved dead, our fallen warriors, and speed them to their end. Guthrum. When the Reeve died, did he take comfort in knowing he would soon see his god? He was strangely peaceful in the end, as if death meant nothing. We stumble through our years, ravenous, grasping, spilling blood, stealing gold, and it is never enough. This life is never enough. Would it not suit you to know there is something beyond all this? Not war and valor, but quiet and peace. I think... I think the afterlife men hope for is only a reflection of their regret in this life. All I wish for now is to live among the friends I've made. That is what counts. Alfred made me swear fealty upon the cross of their god's son. He held such faith in it. A plain, unadorned thing. It burned between my fingers, as if I had pulled it from the fire. A feeling strange and powerful, but gone in an instant. I have not felt its like before. What will you do now? Whatever I must do. England is my final home, Eivor. And I will do what it takes to remain. I should return to Swanborough and tell her of Hunwald's fate. Better the news comes from me than a stranger. It's a fine day, Eivor. Eivor? Swanbro, I... No. Gods, no. Don't say it, please, Eivor. Don't say it! I am sorry. Oh! My own one! No! My poor swan! Oh, gods! He fought bravely and turned the tide to secure a victory. Your dear Hunwald died a hero and will be so remembered. Oh, gods! I know he would have fainted to hear such praise from your lips. Thank you, Eivor. Thank you. He walks among warriors now. Yes. The lucky man. I imagine he does. I know words are poor salve for a wounded heart. I will leave you to mourn, and know that we are here for you, always, should you need us.
Eivor, if you've a moment to spare... Hampton Shire has fallen, and with it, the Kingdom of Wessex. But the cost was great. Maybe too great for all we gained. Rest then. You have earned it. On the backs of so many. Time will tell if it was worth it. The Nornir told me you'd be here. The cord is forged. Gleipnir, I call it. I'll wager there's a good story behind that wound. A tale for another time. Thank you for this. When you bind the beast, spare no loose ends. The cord will stretch or shrink to fit your needs. How tightly will it hold? The beast may resist. The more you tighten the cord, the stronger it will hold, and the greater it will hurt, till the beast is rooted to the ground. Thank you, Ivaldi. You may go. You mean from Asgard, do you not? My debt to you is paid in full? Yes, as promised. Thank you, Harvey. I, uh, I did not expect you to remember. Where will you go next? Under the mountains of Svatalpheim. Our mountains. To free the Earth's riches. For this is what I know best. You're a balm to my eyes. What happened to yours? A sacrifice for something greater. Is the wolf nearby? Yes, but he's grown. I have kept him company, but he's consumed by a sadness I cannot understand. Regrettable, but necessary. I knew from the start this wolf brought ill tidings. From the start it was a kind creature. But our mistrust and cruelty have robbed the poor wolf of its sweetness and life. Would it be a kindness to kill it, then? We are past the time for such mercy. This wolf has power now that would test our strengths combined. I fear he is possessed of a power that renders him ever-living. Then we will offer him a different fate. This cord is unbreakable. You must convince him to wear it. It will act as a leash whose magic will signal that he is safely secured. An assurance to the Aesir who fear him. A beacon, that is all. No harm will befall the poor Fenrir. Fenrir, yes. You know the creature's name. Did Loki tell you? He did. It is a fine name. Yes, Dweller of the Fence. 
An apt name for his current fate. Andre! A good word has come! Leave me! I wish you well, Great Wolf. But a fear still hangs over Asgard. The Aesir worry about your growing size and strength. Do they now? And what do they have to be afraid of, old friend? Harvey brings a collar fashioned by the dwarves, a beacon. That we may track from a distance to know where you roam. Wear this, and you may live and thrive in Asgard without worry. Oh, I smell something sour. Wear the color, or return to Jotunheimer. There's no third way. Son of Loki, have I not treated you with kindness? We are bonded, you and I. And as I trust my king, so you may trust me. Open your mouth. As a pledge of faith, you may take my hand if I am untrue. Fair. Be swift, Harvey. in riddles. The home of the gods turns red. Red with gore.
of storms, an age of wolves. Where did you hear these words of prophecy? How do you know these things? Harvey, you're a bomb to my eyes. What happened to yours? Yes, really. I then it up. Uh, yeah. Andre! We'll fight one another. Kill one another. You speak in riddles. The home of the gods turns red. Red with gore.
Where did you hear these words of prophecy? could not strike the killing blow. All my oaths remain unbroken. Anyone lesser would have succumbed to his hatred. If I could have done this any other way... There was no other way, Harvey. Our fates are fixed. Fate, I know. You made a great sacrifice on my behalf. It was not for you. Do not think your kindness has made you a new friend, Lord of Imbeciles. I will kill you, all of you, gorging on Aesir flesh. You may strike the final blow, son of Loki, but I will savor my years of freedom before we meet again. <laughs> Come, old friend. The healing hands of Freya can help you. Have you come to say what I fear? Not to say, but to show a vision of the times to come. None living or dead now equal our heavy in arrogance. To believe that you could remake your fate thus. For all your efforts, for all your struggles, the threads of fate still bind you as tightly as ever. And yet, from this pattern, a single strand escapes the fray stubbornly clings to the weave. Esir, Vanir, your doom will come. The earth will shake, the sun will die. Jötnar will stalk your streets as fire rains upon your heads. And the great wolf Fenrir will feast upon your blood. But you have found a way to live beyond this terror. Let it flow. To cheat your death. From the life tree we go, to the life tree we shall one day return. Mind and spirit will search to a time far beyond your own. To a time in which you shall be reborn. None may follow. Loki least of all. It is done. Time to face our end. This was not my day to die. <laughs> 